my name's uh, Jörg Burva Smith, and I'm a computational mathematician. The specific kind of maths that I do would really be in the intersection of maths and statistics. Let's say we have a pedestrian model, which is the thing I'm working on right now. <clears throat> now, why would you want a pedestrian model? Well, if you're trying to, for example, if you're an architect and you're trying to make a building and you want to make it as evacuatable as possible, you need to know like how big should the doors be, where should the walls go, and if you have a, a pedestrian model, you can say um, exactly what effects the size of a door will have, for example. Even though I'm working on something physical here, the techniques that I'm using apply to so many different domains. I have a friend who's an economist. He comes to me for advice about, I don't know, inference. I talk to him about economics for you know, an hour, and then the next minute I'm talking to a biologist about mathematical biology. Hi, I'm Maria. I'm a second year PhD student doing research in the foundations of quantum information. So uh, quantum mechanics is our most fundamental theory of physics to describe the universe. And when we use the laws of quantum mechanics, we need at least to a different theory of computer science, which is described by quantum information theory. So I really like uh, working on things that are fundamental aspects of the universe. So one of the things I'm looking at is the quantum arrow of time. So I think it's really interesting to see how the arrow of time emerges from our laws of quantum physics. And I'm also looking at um, how we can resolve different quantum paradoxes that are proposed. So I like being able to look at something which initially seems to not make sense and then working out how actually everything's fine and everything actually makes sense. Hi, my name is Sam Palmer. I work on thymus rejuvenation. So the thymus is an organ beside the heart where T cells develop and it shrinks with age. And it might be the main reason why immune systems decline and a big driver of aging in general. So I'm working on, I'm working with a group of people that are trying to make lab grown thymuses to restore people's immune systems. Yeah, so I do a bit of data analysis, a bit of modeling. Uh, I'm also trying to develop an algorithm which uh, uses neural networks to learn the dynamics of thymus cells. Uh, so basically to try to figure out why the thymus is shrinking and what can be done to make it bigger again. Uh, yeah, well, I used to do uh, theoretical physics and I went into mathematical biology because I was inspired by anti-aging research. 